Okay, so the first product that I wanted to talk about from Silke is their tactical pump. Um, this is their on-bike offering. They actually do a whole range of pumps for on-bike, whether that's a, a traditional frame pump or if it's something that you want to carry uh, on the bike using a mount or if you're looking for something that's smaller that can, you can pop into the back of your jersey. So there's plenty of options. Um, for me, this was the one that I like. I like it to be attached to my bike. Um, and uh, the tactical for me is just it's a great size and it's really efficient at what it does. Now it's got an, an aluminium body that's gripped in the right areas to make sure that you can get all of the pressure that you need to when you're trying to get those tyres up to those high PSI numbers. Um, it's a little bit different to normal actually and I'm just going to pop mine off and this is actually my own bike and my own pump. Um, so it's actually upside down to your traditional pump. If I pull this apart, normally what you'll find is you're normally pumping from this end with a normal pump, but what's different about the tactical is you're actually pumping with the mass at this end. And what this actually allows is for us to get more pressure through uh, the valve. So it actually gives you about 10% more than your standard pump that goes from the other end. So it's a nice little touch. Now what's really important for a performance small pump, it's all about temperature management because essentially this is all about ensuring that you can keep things sealed and that the air is going where it's meant to go. So there's a few nice touches in this, so aluminium body, but it's got a steel shaft. This has got a twin air tube which is insulated in the middle to keep it cool to make sure that the performance is as it should be. It's actually also got a heat sink in here to manage the heat. Now that's pretty cool for a small pump. So when you're actually using it, the pump itself, the valve is extendable from the smaller end of the head and it's um, extendable and then you're using this lever to lock it in place. So it's all very sure and it feels really nice to use. Now it's set up as standard for a Presta valve, but if you did want to use Shredder, should you ever need to, it is simply just a case of unscrewing the head and adding that back in. And there you have your Shredder using it exactly the same way. So if I just return that back to the Presta. So this will get you up to 120 PSI for a handheld pump. It comes with the mounted bracket that just sits underneath your bottle cage and it's got the secure strap as well to hold it in place so it's secure, it's quiet and it's not going to go anywhere. The other nice touch about this is when you are running a pump on frame, you want it to be quiet. So when you have got it in place and it's secure, this nice little seal here that you see that's sliding along the aluminium body basically just pops into the top of the lever and what this will a couple of things actually it'll do for you is it'll hold everything in place keeping it nice and quiet but it also acts as a seal to keep out all of the nasties that you're going to get from a wet ride so keeping ingress of any moisture in there which will help just the longevity of the pump in general so this Silka Tactical my choice for an on-bike pump so the super piece the digital I'm going to talk you down to the features of this pump from top to bottom and one thing I will say about this pump, actually pumps in general, I think people overlook them. What we've got to think about is tires touching the ground. I mean, that's really important, making sure you've got consistent pressure in there. You know what you're working with each time that you're riding your bike. I use this particular pump every single time before I go riding. Uh, and what makes it nice is that it's a pleasure to use and that makes all the difference. And when I go riding, I feel good. I feel confident that uh, my bike feels the same every time. So it's something not to be overlooked. So looking at the Super Pista Digital from the top down, the first place I'm gonna start with is the handle. Now it's a lathe turned ash handle uh, and it is beautiful and um, tactile, feels good, it's grippy and it just has a nice premium feel to it which Silka is through and through. Over the top you'll see it's got this leather strap that pops off and this is basically just a carry strap. Um, and this just allows you to move the pump from place to place. So after the handle and the strap, then we're starting to go into the body, into the guts of the pump and what makes it the pump that it is. Um, in the top, it's actually got a steel shaft, a part of an aluminium body. So it's light, it manages heat well, but the steel shaft just means that you're gonna get good longevity out of the pump itself. The innards are actually all serviceable and replaceable, and actually they use the same 
leather bladder inside this pump from the same source in Italy since the 60s and 70s, which is very, very cool. So at least you know that if you do need to give this pump a bit of love down the line, that you can. So running down, then we hit the, uh, the digital display. Now it's set right up at the top of the pump rather than at the base where you would see with a lot of other pumps. This is purely for ease of use so that when you are down at the wheel and normally in this pumping position, you're right beside the digital display itself. Now, the digital display works in a couple of different ways that it can help you. You can uh, look at the PSI that you're putting in there, which is actually accurate to 0.5, which is really important. So for mountain bikers or road riders alike, you can be really quite accurate with what you want to have in your tire. Um, it acts a little bit also like if you're going to the car pump where you put in your PSI and you carry on pumping until you hear the beep. So it'll give you an alarm to tell you that you've hit where you want it to be. So it's a really smart little tool. Batteries last for ages. Um, there's no issues there, even for someone like myself who pumps my tires or checks my pressure every single time before I leave the house. Now, as we run down the pump, obviously you've got a nice bit of Silka branding on this sort of um, almost oval, sharp oval shaped body. And this is all to make sure that we're getting the most out of the movement of the air, but also keeping it cool. Um, a bit like the other pumps, it's got a number of things in there to help manage the heat and make sure that performance is as it should be all the way down into the base, you see this three-pronged claw approach on the base. This is all about keeping it steady. Uh, this is making sure that it's not something that's gonna fall over super easy, something that can be placed somewhere and it's gonna sit as it should. Now, if we go onto the actual hose itself, now this is super, super nice. This is what actually caught me at the start. First of all, you'll notice that the, um, to keep it nice and tidy for where it's sitting at home or in the car so it's not flapping around the place, it actually runs down the back into this little hoop at the base. And as it comes back up into the chuck, it actually sits into this little magnetic port here. So it just keeps it nice and tight. And you can see there, it slips into place and it doesn't move anywhere. Just another nice little touch. Now the magic in this pump is also in the chuck itself. This is what made me fall in love with Silka. It feels beautiful to use. It runs in a little bearing and basically what, uh, what you need to do is, I may as well quickly show you while we're doing this, is when you're on your valve, this actually just pops onto your valve and then the lever just closes, and you feel it click into place. So the feel of it, the, the, the use of it is actually really, really nice. You'll find yourself just sitting, opening and closing the chuck non-stop. It feels that nice. Um, and this just means that you're getting that same consistent feel each time that you use it, which is important for a performance track pump like this, especially when you've got mechanics at world tour level using them as well. So um, a lovely, lovely little touch. Now it is a press to chuck. Um, if you did want to use uh, the Schrader, which I actually had to do for my wife's car the other day, which is really quite nice and useful, is that you just pop off the, the press to chuck and then you're left with your shredder valve and you would use it as you would normal shredder valve. Uh, screw it on, pump as you normally would and replace it with your Presta Chuck afterwards. So it's super simple. So that is my choice for a track pump from Silka. There are others, but for me, it's all about the Super Piece, the digital.